Hey YouTube and welcome back to Diva Styles. Um, I just want to do a quick video giving you uh, another idea, I guess, that you could do for the gable boxes if you wanted like a solid color. I did go ahead and reprint and make another one. And it is pretty much the whole box is covered. It is, you know, another color. So yeah, and I think this came out really, really cute. The whole box is colored. So just. And to do this, the only thing that I did, because, you know, you can't edit that simply, unfortunately. It's not a PNG format. And unless you want to go and purchase the thing, you're not going to be able to edit it, which I'm not paying for it. The way I'm going to do it is fine. But, like, if you wanted a solid color, you know, like red or chevron, stripes, dots, whatever, you could do it this way as well. And then just put your um, your label on it, your sticker label or whatever. But pretty much the only thing I did was I covered the whole page in this print uh, pattern, which if you wanted, you know, black, you color the whole thing black. So I don't recommend using your at-home printer. Uh, take it somewhere like Staples and and do that part. Pay the 49 cents instead of using your ink at home. But I covered the whole thing. I printed it out and flipped it over because I do not know how to print on both sides with my printer and my husband is at work. So I had to do what I had to do. But I printed it out, flipped the paper over, ran it back through the printer. And this time on the other side, what I printed out was the template so that I could see where I'm supposed to cut. So once I cut it out, it was really simple to go ahead and follow through and fold it and bam, this is what I got right here. A solid color, well not solid, but a printed gable box pretty much. And if I open it up and show you guys the inside, you can still see all the lines and everything where I needed to fold it and cut it. So actually this way is easy. If you want it to be a solid color or a print, this is this is the way to go. And there's still so many things that you can do with this that you can, um, you know, edit and design. And like I said, always you can put a label on it. I mean, yeah, it's still so many things you can do with this box right here, y'all. But I just wanted to throw that out there that that is one way that you can do it also uh, because. Keisha asks, you know, I can't edit this, but hey, how can I get this a solid color? So I was, you know, wrecking my brain trying to figure this out. And this is what I, this is the best that I could do. I'm sorry. But I really hope that this helps. So if you have any more questions or want me to further explain, you know, anything, just let me know. But as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.